What up, y'all? Appreciate you coming through, showing up, listening to my dumb ass. Like and subscribe. Um, so yeah, I skipped this story because I don't know why. I just did. I just did. I just didn't talk about it. But it was a little blip. It was like oh boop boop boop. It's called uh, Project Keystone. Is that what it's called? The uh, Microsoft Keystone, Xbox Keystone, whatever it's called. It's the code name, right? They found the data miners, data miners, when they found it, right? So I've heard of all these uh, theories and such on the internet. It's talking about, oh, it's a streaming stick. Oh, it's an app. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. And there's a couple of reasons why I know what it is. I don't know what it is. But think about this. I have heard no one, no one say what I'm about to say. That's why this is the best take, the hottest take, the hottest and best take I'm about to give y'all, yup, all up in your faces. All right, so check it out. An app for TVs, yes. That's a that's a no-brainer, okay? So as far as the hardware goes and how do they have to get in touch with, I mean, get with Samsung or whoever, I heard it was Samsung, but anyway, you know, that's a whole manufacturing thing. Slap a little uh, sister board in there or something like that. Boom, done, right? Maybe, I don't know, whatever. So yes, they're probably gonna do that. Also, there was this thing about, oh, we're going to do a puck, so you can just plug it into any TV. Sounds like a good plan too, right? Sure. But people aren't looking at the industry. They aren't looking at the entirety of the industry. Microsoft wants a lot. I was going to say they want it all. I mean, I ain't, I ain't far from the truth, but I'm just saying this is what's up. Microsoft may do the puck. The, the streaming stick, if you will, they may do the app. I would say they would do both, right? In addition to those two things, this is what they're gonna do. Microsoft's doing a portable console. That's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. That's why I said it. Y'all don't know. They saw, they saw the switch. They're like, yeah, but it's too, it's underpowered. How can we do a switch? Cause right? Then they see the Stream Deck, and they're like, hold up, the Steam Deck, excuse me, the Stream Deck, the Steam Deck, and they're like, wait a second, this could probably play Game Pass games, okay? So what they're doing, Microsoft, Microsoft, what Microsoft is doing right now is looking at the Xbox Series S, and they're saying, okay, how can we take this console and miniaturize it such that we can make it portable? How can we do this? How can we make this a low power Xbox Series S that can be powered by battery and make portable? Because it's pretty small already. So it's like, they're not far off. It's not like a giant PlayStation 5 and it's like, yeah, make that a portable. Nah, you can't, it's no. You're gonna be carrying around a book bag with a wire attached to it, something. Look. This makes the most sense because A, Microsoft has all the money. They got all the money. They got all the money. They can do all three if they wanted to. Will they? I don't know. Probably, would they do the app first? Maybe. Would they do the puck, the streaming stick? Eh. The problem is, is that if they do the app, then they can be like, here's a deal with Samsung or whatever, right? Or if they do the stick, they could be like, here's the deal with Samsung, sticks included, just plug it into the back. It's a dongle, right? And also sell it separately, you put it in any TV. That makes the, the, the most, that makes the smartest move, but if it's already an app on a TV, it is the easiest for people to adapt. So you gotta look at the market. How many people are actually buying Samsungs? Are they just gonna go with Samsung or are they gonna be like, yo, Samsung, Vizio, TCL, everybody but Sony. Cause Sony ain't having that. Let's let's just be real. Sony ain't putting that on their TVs. Come on, son. Imagine a Sony Bravia, whatever, with a freaking Xbox app on it natively. Psh, never, never will happen. Never will happen. Never. But if Microsoft makes a Switch like, or somewhere in between the Switch and the Steam Deck, right? It doesn't have to have the touchable controllers and all the motion. No, nah, just the Steam Deck but cheaper and uh you know the 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 main thing about if microsoft makes a portable here's the main super most important part of this theory 
it has to be able to play Xbox Series S games natively without any type of, oh, we have to make three versions now. No, 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 no. It has to be click a button on the API, export it to Xbox Series Z, whatever they're gonna call it, Series, I was gonna say L, but that sounds not good. Xbox Series M for mini, the Xbox mini portable MP, most valuable player, MVP, the Xbox MVP, there you go. Mo mini video player, the Xbox mini video player, there you go, I just made the name up. The Xbox MVP, that's what it's called, right? So, the Xbox mini video player, the Xbox MVP, with the ability to play these games natively. It's just a click of the button, export as MVP, you're done, son. You don't have to code or do anything else to these games. They're already done. You just make the hardware, you buy the hardware, you buy the game, it works. That's what they need to do. Can they do it? Of course they can. Can they do it in a way that is affordable for them and people? I don't know. Can they make a portable, like let's, Imagine this, in a world, in a world, there's an Xbox Series S, which is $299. There's an Xbox Series X, which is $499. Xbox Series MVP, $299. Same as the Xbox Series S, right? Maybe the the power is a little bit less than the S, as far as like, you know, was resolution. I would say resolution takes a hit more than uh, frames, but resolution is lower, whatever. And you know, maybe a detail, you know, FOV, whatever, you know what I mean? It's a little bit less, marginally so. Maybe close to what the Xbox One would be as far as graphics, but it still plays the code base of the series consoles, right? So it may look like an Xbox One game, but it can hang as far as the speed and all that stuff goes with the series consoles, right? So you're gonna take a hit, but same price, portable. It looks better than the Switch, by the way. This this is, you know, this is a given. It's gonna look better than the Switch, but not as good as Series S and X. Same price. Two, or let's say, let them be, let them be crafty, 249. Just to get the tiers up there, right? Would you not buy a portable Xbox MVP console? Come on, son. That's like a no-brainer. And then you'd be like, we could be like the Switch. We can make a little dock. You can plug it in, put it on your TV if you want to. It's not as powerful as the S, but at least you could grab and take it with you. Come on. It's a note. They see the popular, they see the benefits. They see the fortune <laughs> that Nintendo's making. The actual, they, they see what's going on with the Switch, right? And it's like, why wouldn't we copy that? I, I'm surprised Sony hasn't made another Vita or something because it's like, I know they tried before, like, oh man, game, game, 3DS or blah, 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 right? But they just gave up because I don't think, I don't think they had the, the hardware, sorry. I don't think they had the software. I don't think they had the IPs to push a portable PlayStation. Nintendo has Mario. They have these games that are fit for a portable system, right? You don't need super dope graphics. It's about the art style, right? Blah, blah, blah. And fun, fun games, whatever. Sony doesn't have that. They have their AAA games. They have to be cinematic. They have to have the best graphics and all this stuff, right? So that's a good thing where you have super quality games. It's also a bad thing. It's an Achilles heel because you can't make a Switch-like system, PSP, PS Vita, and put these games on it because they don't supply their audience with what is expected of them. AAA quality graphics and gameplay. You can't do that on a portable. That's why their portables didn't do anything. That's why they failed. Whereas Nintendo is succeeding because of the art style, because of the type of games. Game Pass is the happy medium that has all of these games. It has the AAA games. Sure, they're not gonna look as good as the X version, but guess what, you can still play it. You got all these indie games. Indie games are always coming out. There will never not be indie games. So there's always a plethora, a plethora, a plethora of games on your system that you take with you. It's a no brain and you can either download them or you can stream them, boop, boop, boop. Come on, man, it's a no brainer. I don't know, everybody's like dongle stick, App black. Nobody said nothing about a portable. I think they're gonna smack everybody up in this June. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna 
I mean, maybe they're like so covert and, and, sl and slick and slick. Remember when they announced the Xbox Series X? And it was like, what? What? Huh? This came out of nowhere. It smacked the whole industry up inside. I'm just like, and now they smack Bethesda. Activision. This generation, Xbox is smacking fools left and right. They don't curve. They're like, yo, we got money. We let's smack fools. They're going to smack us again on June 12th. They'll be like, yo, boom, check it out. Xbox Portable. It's called the X Xbox MVP. Stands for Mini Video Game Player. Go get yours. Okay, that's a bad name. But still, you get my drift. I'm just saying. That's what, that's what I predict. My prediction, probably wrong. But I'm just saying, I could dream. Let me dream, Paris. I'm sorry, I thought it was, thought it was Danny for a second there. Anyway, I appreciate y'all hanging out. Like and subscribe. Go in the comments. Just say how wrong and, and, and idiotic I am right now. It's fine. That's what I want. I want to hear the Discord. I want to hear y'all y'all's thoughts. I want to see. I want to know if anybody else has thought about the MVP, the Xbox Mini Video Game Player, to, to combat Nintendo. Nintendo's running away with the industry right now on a weak ass system. Why isn't the most richest? console manufacturer making the same moves with a freaking infrastructure an ecosystem that would be perfect for a switch like console remember always be gaming that's not i just i just said that now that's nothing i i don't usually say that but i mean yeah you could you do that video games are life no, I don't ever say that. Do I need like a, a out, an out troll type of saying? Remember, the sky is blue when the sun is yellow and the clouds are green sometimes if you have something in your eye. I Maybe I'll just do a different one every since we 